Welcome to this week's edition of the Clark County Today Weekly News Update. Here are the top stories making headlines in Clark County, Washington. Former President Donald Trump survives an assassination attempt in Pennsylvania. On July 13, 2024, while speaking at a rally in Butler, Pennsylvania, Trump was targeted by a gunman. Secret Service agents quickly intervened, and although Trump was injured, he managed to address the crowd before being escorted to safety. The shooter is confirmed dead, and an audience member was killed. Trump received treatment at a local hospital. This shocking event occurred just days before the Republican National Convention. Washington State Republican Party Chairman Representative Jim Walsh has issued an open letter to the state's common-sense conservatives. In his letter, Walsh urged activists to support four key initiatives on the November ballot that aim to repeal certain taxes and restore consumer choices. He condemned recent hateful rhetoric and emphasized focusing on policies rather than personal attacks. Walsh also addressed the assassination attempt on former President Trump, calling for a unified stance against violence and divisive language. The Interstate Bridge Replacement Program in Vancouver has been awarded a $1.499 billion grant from the Federal Highway Administration's Bridge Investment Program. Announced on July 12th, this funding will support the construction of a new bridge across the Columbia River. Officials from Washington and Oregon highlight the bridge's importance for regional growth and safety, although the total estimated cost of the project ranges from $5 to $9 billion, with additional federal grants still being sought. Voting for Washington's August 6 primary election begins Friday. Ballots will be mailed to over 4.8 million registered voters, with drop boxes opening for ballot returns. Voters have until 8 p.m. on Election Day to return their ballots to drop boxes or voting centers or ensure they are postmarked by August 6. With races for 654 offices and 94 local measures, voters can access information through votewa.gov and county voters' pamphlets. Online registration ends on July 29th, while in-person registration will be available until 8 p.m. on Election Day. A federal appeals court has ruled that the wrongful death lawsuit against the Clark County Sheriff's Department and two deputies will proceed to trial. The Ninth Circuit Court of Appeals found the deputies' use of deadly force in the 2020 shooting of Kevin Peterson Jr. to be excessive. The trial will address claims of wrongful death, negligence, and excessive force. This case has garnered significant attention and criticism regarding the Sheriff's Department's actions and statements. Vancouver Police Chief Jeff Morey has announced his retirement, effective October 11th. After over five years as chief and more than 31 years in law enforcement, Morey cited personal reasons for his decision. His tenure included significant achievements, such as advancing a police and public safety levy and enhancing community engagement. City Manager Eric Holmes commended Morey's leadership and contributions to the community. This week, Washougal will host the largest single-day sporting event in Clark County, the Washougal MX National. Veterans will be honored at this motocross event with a special military appreciation race and a Warrior Memorial bike tribute. The event is expected to draw over 20,000 fans, celebrating both motocross and military service. Harvest Days in Battleground is set to take place from July 19 to 20 Ferns. The weekend will kick off with the Harvest Nights Cruise, followed by a pancake breakfast, parade, vendor fair, and carnival. The celebration will conclude with a fireworks display. For more details, visit the Battleground Festivals Association's website. Woodland's Glenn Flanagan, known for his long-standing role as the head coach of the girls' basketball team, is taking on the position of head football coach. Flanagan, who has been a significant figure in Woodland Athletics, will manage both football and basketball teams this season, following Sean McDonald's departure. Amboy's Territorial Days featured a vibrant parade and an exciting log show. The event showcased various logging competitions, with Chris Rao and Beverly Frick emerging as the top male and female loggers. Photographer Mike Schultz captured the highlights of the day, including the championship moments and parade festivities. That's it for this week's News Roundup. For more details on these stories and the latest updates from Clark County, Washington, visit ClarkCountyToday.com. Thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next week.